Okay, showdown round three. We came 18th, minus nine. 18th, um, tough school that, uh, that second round. See if we can improve here. What we really need is low winds um, and a bit of luck. Low winds and a bit of luck is uh, definitely the way forward. <clears throat> Spinning for a while is not usually a good sign. Um, it tends to mean it's struggling to find you a player. Um, this is where you end up drawing a hack and getting the famous bogey bug. Um, someone forfeits on you. Three bogeys awarded. Tournament over. Um, fuck. Oh, to a pro. Oh dear. Um, oh well. Oh well. Oh, uh, 19 mile an hour headwind. Um, but actually, um, it's this hole. Par 5. Um, this could be a great wind, you know. Uh, means I can't reach any of that. And we might have a chance of actually stopping it somewhere near the flag. Oh my goodness, um, <clears throat> this is going to be a struggle, isn't it? I mean, with those clubs, that's not so bad, 270, you may be okay with that. Um, those are very difficult to hit straight, if I remember rightly. Fast meter, not very precise. <clears throat> Still learning the game. Uh, okay, good, he's, uh, he's responding. It's good when people respond, it tends to mean that... Um, they're less likely to forfeit on you. <clears throat> Until we get off to a good start. I don't like these uneven matches. I mean, apart from obviously the potential forfeit risk, um, it's not really fair on the guys. They're trying to build, trying to build the coin balance in the EU are. Um, Trying to shoot sort of fours and five unders against them. Nice best play here. Hopefully he goes just over the bunkers and out to the right somewhere. Would be the best play. That's kind of okay. Um, so 16. I make this about... Uh, probably going to play about 2, 1, 5... Full three iron goes two on six. Better long than short. Um, avoids the down slope just in front of the flag. Um, hopefully we can get it to stop on. It won't stop on a dime, but it might stop quite close. Aim. Uh, maybe a bit to the right. Yeah, I should do about six to the right. A couple of grids. Maybe a bit more. Yeah. And just fire it in. We've got the heartbeats. It's a rare, rare heartbeat on here. Oh, you know, that must have, that must have shinned the edge of that hole. Good start. Thank you, sir. We have got the heavy winds. Um, it makes me a bit nervous. It turned out turned out to be handy. That good good heavy winds can be uh, can be a blessing. Tournament speed greens. Well, that that should suit us. Um, anything upwards of tens will tend to suit me. Anything below that, <sighs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing a little bit. I don't don't practice them. That's none of the big tournaments are on them. 
Oh, where's he gone? He just hasn't lined that up. He's uh, he just aimed that straight. He hasn't thought about the break. Knock it in, sir. Oh my goodness. I smell all three bogeys. Um, hopefully he won't forfeit. Let's just give this a whack. Must have had an eagle, eagle gold today. Don't know about you, I don't really pay much attention to those. a terrible wind that this time that is a terrible wind um this is a great chance if you can get i don't know if we can reach us you know don't know if we can reach us guys and go that was a little bit of a pull as well um 256 in the oh, damn 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 uh, i mean this has got eagles written all over it any sort of decent wind tailwind even fours and five irons into this. That's a great, great eagle chance. We can't. We might be able to sneak one up there, I suppose, if we can. Let's think positive. There was a downslope in front of the green. Let's have a look at what this can. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Um... Don't know how I can help this guy really. Sometimes it's nice to try and help some of the lower tiers out as the plane even these things. I mean, it's gonna. I used to appreciate it if uh, I used to ask tons of questions of better players when uh, I was getting my ass kicked in the in the coin rooms. Yeah, most of them will. Most of them I'll be out. Right, I'm just gonna hit this flat and hope I catch sort of that downslope just over the bunker and shoot up. Oh, got the heartbeats, guys. Got the heartbeats. Um, that could be really good. It's turning in. I flew a long way, that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not usually this good or lucky. That was lucky. Let's be. Uh, let's be honest. It was a shocking win, but uh, to put that within like three feet from there is pure luck. Three wood can go in. That's a great shot. Well played. Well done, sir. Don't miss this, though. Um, roll it. I'm pleased for him. Now. That's, uh, that's tricky with... It's really tricky with those clubs to be making birdies into a big wind like that. Probably a bit disconcerting to be uh, still outside my approach, but... Yeah. We'll take whatever good luck we get because, oh boy, we get some rubbish. There's some rubbish breaks too. Okay, I'm in two and a half feet away. Carried for miles out, I can't really get over that that, that approach. It, um... hmm. it is what it is. Good wind here, a little wedge in maybe. That's not a great wind, is it? Dear, 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 dear. Um, we just need to be able to get in, get within sort of 90 yards, leave a wedge in. What's that, 69? Uh, maybe 
may be a little bit awkward, but... That's manageable. That's definitely manageable. That really is a great start, especially with crappy winds, um, heavy winds. Encouragement where it's due. It's not easy when you're level 50 something. Still trying to figure out how the game works. I knew nothing at that level. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, you kind of start to figure it out. But. Yeah, it's just certain situations that. You don't know what you're doing, I hadn't mapped my clubs, I didn't know far thing flew, didn't know the impact of spin, how to play winds. Um, I think everybody's the same. Um, right, this one. Quick. Ready reckon it. I think this is going to play... Um, I think it's going to play about 79 with the top spin. I mean, it's going to bounce. It's going to want to bounce forward um, rather than spin back. So you, I don't think I need a full top spin in here. It's going to play sort of seventy nine, not not eighty odd. That should be good. Um, yes. Not really sure what to say about that. Roll it in. Not an easy putt, this. I remember 12 greens were a uh, source of terror when you start out. Yeah. Well, that, my friends, um, that was a great start. Heavy wins and a low rate, a low ranking uh, opponent is not what you wanted, but uh, we got a good heavy wind on uh, on that first hole for sure. Uh, a real crappy wind on the second one, which um, fortunately we got away with. Better to be lucky than good. Let's go again. I don't care about the leaderboard at this stage. It tells you nothing after, uh, after a couple of holes. It's, um, nobody really cares whether I'm like 55th on the leaderboard or whatever, right? And, um, all that matters is where you are at the end of the day. And uh, Chambers, we could do some low wins. Oh my goodness. We've got to five under par after three, and we've got heavy winds on a difficult hole at Chambers Bay. My heart has just sunk. Um, but it is what it is, so we're going to have to play it. Um, there's nobody's going to vacuum the wind away. We're going to have to play it. Um, it's not even a nice wind, that is left, left to right and into it. Ugh. That is uh, that's known as a crappy wind. But it is what it is. A little bit of uh, backspin, not much. Just want to give it enough to sort of get a good apex on it. We're a long way past this guy here. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's a, another guy that's a bit miffed with the uneven match. Yeah, I kind of always feel a bit sorry for them, right? It's, I mean, I shouldn't be in this room. It's uh, this isn't a this isn't a room we should be in. Um, yeah, you're gonna lose.
lose he's going to lose a few coins probably um, if he ties we'll obviously gift him the gift him the tie break that was a lovely shot he hit there though um, right this one how much into the wind is this um, I think it is about an 11 headwind um, maybe a little bit more a 12 headwind um, and it, this doesn't go this far this will be a little bit short but it tends to bounce on it lands on a downslope it'll want to bounce on um, I should have paid attention and looked at what the green speed was, but I didn't, so um, it's about four. That was kind of okay. I just pushed it a little bit. You saw a little late ding there. Um, this is makeable. It's a long way off an easy pot. But we're going to have to give it a bit extra. Um, slow green, 27 headwind. I don't know what that really does on a, on a slow green, but I do know you're probably going to have to add an extra foot. Um, I would add a little bit more on a, on a fast guy. I don't know whether it impacts on a slow green as much. It probably shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't really care. Let me just add a little bit. Um, add a little bit and see how we go. Huh? Never really takes the down slope as much as you think either so uh, sneak in <sighs> they missed the dinger hair there and really got away with that I feel we've uh, we've had an escape there guys and girls that's that's a real bonus birdie that one um, not too bad either. that's just the uh, it's just the ballsy win in this showdown the, but the vapor version they're okay um, starter putter's not okay. Um, hybrid is a waste of space. Yeah, I don't feel his putt was any worse than ours there. It's just that uh, I was snuck in the right edge and his snuck round the edge. It's unlucky there. Right, this one. Um... Probably this the one hole that doesn't make a big wind, heavy wind doesn't make a lot of difference on, which is good. We might have a job stopping this one, but we're going to be coming in very low, very hard, and it's going to want to take a big bounce as the green is miles above us. So we may we may struggle to get close to this and sort of have to cut it a bit fine with either going over the back, which is dead, um, or more likely flirt with the, the front of the green, um, which usually is uh, somewhere you could get at least a birdie from. Yeah. I never used expensive balls in that level. I don't know whether we'd appreciate this, by the way. Most people appreciate you sort of trying to help them out. Um, occasionally you get someone who gets a bit grumpy and sort of thinks they don't really want to know. In which case, um, we won't talk with them much more. He's coming up to the level where, level 92, I mean, it's long, remember that's a long way from level 97, where you can get the best irons. The 85s are available to him there. Um, he's using the E2, those, um, I love that set. I, I thought that set was great, but it's not great on holes like this because it, you need the extra spin. Right, um, I think, I'm not sure this is going to reach, I'll be honest with you. I think I may need to take a bit less. I haven't got the beats. Ah. Oh, 
Please don't be in the thick. Don't be in the brush. Don't be in the brush. <clears throat> Damn it, I sort of knew I needed to hit the uh, 155 yard shot. I hit the 153. Greedy. I just thought if we just make it over the bunker, we're stone dead. Um, good shot, sir. Good shot. Very sensible. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't remember what wedges he has, but he probably ought to get up and down from there with most wedges. I use chucking balls at this sort of, uh, on, the, on the way up, maybe as a, as a master, you use the, um, 64 credits. I don't know whether those balls are still there. The ones with like a couple of meter speed and a bit of spin. I found those um, to be quite competitive. Okay, 40, 50, that's okay. At least it's not in a 60, 70 brush. Um, it was a slow green, wasn't it? Uh, it's going to still want to run on up then down, down Hurricane. Rather be short than long here. Not that short though. Uh, it's nice to at least give it a chance. Oh, we've, I feel we've uh, we've gifted a shot away there, guys. That that is it was a difficult eagle with a with a heavy heavy tailwind. Don't get me wrong, but I think we've gifted uh, gifted a shot back to the course there. there isn't really very cool. If I'm honest, I'm not used to being quite that far up there either. Um, and I didn't know exactly how much the wind would carry it. Um, just didn't push it quite as much as I'd hoped. Extra yard, it would have crawled over and rolled all the way up to the hole. Probably left us a tap in. But it didn't. Um, so we'll have to remember that. Damn. Hmm. Sort of thought we might have got that big downhill one, the um, hole nine, the one that's down at, off the top of the cliff. Um. Right, uh, what's this one going to play? At 14 of elevation, uh, I guess, and we're going to have to weigh him way out. Way out to the right. I'm going to take a time out here, guys. I've been faffing around here, not not paying attention. Um, let's take the time out rather than trying to rush this. And invariably regret it because we had a terrible shot. Let's start that again. So what did we say? Um, for about fourteen of elevation, and um, I think in the region of. 17, 18 to the right, um, probably 10 or so of wind going forward. Let's go a bit right away over there, there we go. Um, just less than, that goes 160, so I think we've got about 161. Boom, it was worth the wait, thankfully. Thank you for your patience, everybody. It was better than I, that. Kind of was messing around, and I wasn't really paying attention. And um, it wasn't worth just rushing it and doing something stupid.
See, I'm learning. It's looking a bit left. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad by a long way. Go on, roll it in. It's a nice, uh, nice finish to the game. And thank you for not forfeiting. It was a good looking putt, that. Especially with the wind going that way. Um, you pay a bit of attention here. We can't time out on this one. Oh, DQ'd. Um, it just needs to be hit, doesn't it? I mean, there's not much in it. Probably as much from the wind as the break. Uh, it just needs to be given a good whack at the edge. There she blows. I am um, I'm kind of pleased with the birdies on that and the first at Chambers. Those are tough, tough holes in a heavy wind. Um, I think we gifted that back, you know, on the, on the little par five there. Swinger chap is moving along. Nearly got that maxed. Give me an extra two yards in a, in a clash or uh, in a showdown, I guess. Let's go again. Let's go again. Taking a while again, isn't it? Um, I guess it's early in the morning, UK time. And yeah, unfortunately, that is probably not the busiest time in the coin runs. So maybe we are running a little bit of uh, a little bit of a risk of drawing hacks and amateurs and stuff like that. Some low winds would be nice though. We've had, um, had more than our fair share of heavy winds so far. For those of you who think uh, the winds are set, they're, they're totally random in the, in the showdowns. The green speeds, the pins, the, um, the winds, they're all totally random. So, you know, one person's gonna get low winds, um, nine speed greens, um, and then easy pin, and another one's going to get a 12 speed green, a heavy wind, and um, a difficult, difficult pin, 12, 12 speed green. You're going to get the right pin on Pebble Beach number eight or something like that. Um, oh dear. Another forfeit risk, I think. Um, that's a nice wind, though. That is a lovely wind. Almost a straight tail. Um, it's a heavy wind. Not classed as a heavy wind at PGA. Um, it's got three sets of heavy wind, which is a bit shitty. Um, can't pretend I'm pleased about that. But the direction is uh, is very nice. So all we need to do is to pick our spot here, really. Been a bit embarrassing not to put that one close, especially after I just said it was such a lovely wind and uh, how easy it was. Oh, here we go, go easy on me. Not many coins left. 
please forfeit is what he's saying. I can't. Yeah, as we've said before, I mean, if um, if any of these guys can get me to a tiebreak, I'll happily gift the coins to them. I mean, I'll hit a hit at foot or something like that, and just make sure they win the they win the tiebreak. I'll hit it backwards if I need to. Um, but unfortunately, I can't really help them. I can't really help them in live play. I once drew a club mate in um, in a showdown. I'm terribly sorry for the guy. I mean, normally if you draw a club mate, you'd, you'd forfeit all day long and gift them the coins and draw a club mate and end up having to take coins off him. I felt awful about it. Um, right, very fast. That is okay. This just needs to be hit. There's hardly any break in this, is there? It's... Give it a good melt. Yeah, I'm sure that does suck, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, just don't come in this. They don't know, right? It's not their fault. But if he's coming in this room today, he's going to get two champions and champions all day long. You're going to lose a shed load of coins. Just go in any of the other rooms. There is no expert level on this. So you're going to get all the uh, the best in the game playing in the uh, the veteran showdown rush. Um, yeah, if you want to draw a few good players and yeah, maybe get a few tips, it's a good opportunity. If you want to win a few coins, um, you know, maybe go somewhere else. Yeah, it's too late to switch now. Sorry, dude. Do you think that'll be an incentive for him? Probably not, right? I'm going to try and birdie. I don't know what the third hole is, but... I'm obviously going to try and birdie all three, or if there's an eagle chance, we'll try and take that. Looks like we're going to get the bear trap. That looks like we're going to get 15, 16, 17. Oh, that's unlucky. That is really unfortunate. Um... Fiddly wind. I mean, it looks a little bit like a tailwind, but it's going around in a circle. So, <laughs> in practice, it may be a bit less of a tail than we think. Um, I am going to take a little bit of a risk and play just above that second dimple, uh, which would be 157. This should probably go about 158, uh, 159 maybe. Boom, that was nice. That was nice. A little bit long, actually. Better than a little bit short, though. A little bit short. Goes back down where he is. Uh, and that's, that's not a nice putt from there to, to hold. It's an easy putt to get close, but that is not a lot of use when you're trying to shoot a perfect round. Where did that go? Not the finest. So I don't think there's much in this. There's a wind going one direction and uh, the brake going... Looks like a little bit the other. There's not going to be much in this, is there? It's probably the brake offsets the wind. Yeah, a little bit left to right. We'll go... A little bit more on the side of the brake. Just give it a bang. That should do. Good. That's not an easy hole, that one. You'd expect to birdie it, but um, 
Often you won't. Oh dear. Don't forfeit. Please don't forfeit. Please don't forfeit. He's not going to take me to a tie break, is he? I hope he's not. Um, it's a slightly awkward win. Uh, seven, it would be about 17 if it was a direct head. It's probably about 16, 15. Deduct a bit for the uh, elevation. That would go one nine two. I, uh, I could hit this full back spin, or I could hit it seventy percent spin. Um, I prefer into this wind a little bit less spin, so we'll have to hit this um, just over ninety five percent. We'll take that all day long. Um, We'll take that all day long. So hopefully, yeah, we have bar any major mishaps. What's that? Uh, two eagles to start, rest birdies, 11 under. What do you reckon? Um, we gifted that, gifted that par four away. That, uh, so the uh, part of the short par five, um, number four chambers away, right? Somebody could beat this. Um, as soon as you get beat by, you play effectively a perfect round, but someone's hold a full shot. I mean, we hold uh, we hold a full shot for a double eagle at uh, 18th of Pebble Beach in the first in the first round. I mean, you can have something like that happens. Um, it's beatable. Um, absolutely, someone can shoot twelve. There's some difficult holes in there. I mean, these aren't heavy. These these are these are easy holes if you get low winds. They're not. They're no gimmies with a with a heavy wind. Chambers one and uh, the par three there are definitely not gimmies. The eagles are definitely not gimmies. Um, I think we might have a chance. Let's let's go and have a look. A moment of truth. Second. Oh my goodness, that's, uh, that's some leaderboard, that. Uh, 12 under. Yeah, um, we gifted that past Sebiku and Magnets. You don't want uh, you don't want to see those two in your bracket. Irish Kings in there. Uh, Celts, there's another uh, previous. Decent. Aldrin's a uh, top, top tier four guy. Um, I mean, these are only the ones that are played. This is a tough group. A little bit like a blooming who's who of WGT at the top of that. Mr. Tebbs used to play for our club. Wouldn't mind him back, actually. Um, Golf Rex returns. I uh, wonder who he was before. Hans Test, another good player. Um, Shell Bowers, one of the penalty box guys. Um, yeah, look, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to beat Sebiku and the Mags for, for sure. Those two are... Uh, those two are top, 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 top players. Um, Twelve under is a tough target. Um, I think we got a think we got a difficult group there. Anyway, thanks for watching.